so there's a very simple book so this book uh, whenever uh, you can get it it's true for all generation so there is now about eight nine generation which i keep reading baby boomers gen x gen y gen z so i don't know which generation i am from but it's true for all generations i think that's how this book is pretty good and uh, we used to talk at moti bath so this book only tells you the moti bath so you don't have to really do too much reading just go to the last page and do the action you get paid more so and this author also says this is the golden age of mankind so we are blessed with so much innovation so much of things happening around us so i think that's one of the reason i took this book and the last one i think which most of you here would be knowing this book talks about clarity um, you know whatever you want to do you need to have clarity i think that's one of the reason i chose this book so brian i'm sure all of you would uh, would be knowing him his wealth is about 15 million dollars and he's a great coach brian is somebody who's uh, talked about expert on performance management and in this book he talks about 21 ways you know work on to how to get paid more and promoted faster there are few things which uh, i taken away from this book so one is very close to my mind is be a problem solver so in any organization as so i worked for about 35 years one of the things we all love is to be a problem solver so the organization loves that kind of people so rather than saying any ho sakta so i have always stayed away uh, from them i think that's a great learning i got second one is invest in yourself continually so i'm still a student so i may not be a great speaker uh, like some of you but i would like to learn every day till i live i think that's uh, the key be a lifelong learner and uh, with complete innocence i think that's how probably the growth will come automatically the last one i would talk about uh, is commit to excellence so i was uh, introduced to something called leadership through quality way back in 1985 uh, in the rocks so what it tells us is whatever you do you should be the best only god can do it better then you don't have to worry about your job at all so in all my years yes there is a risk every day but the only risk is if i don't do well then that risk multiplies so i think excellence is the key um, continually for you to grow Uh, one of the finest things uh, he talks about is era of employment is over and era of long lifelong employability is on so in the earlier times uh, you know i met uh, dr b k modi on his 70th birthday he said sir have you not retired so his pat came the uh, response he said hari there is nothing called retirement so we are all in an age where we must all be working lifelong i think for us to be working life long then this is the best forum to my mind because in the last about 11 session i have attended i picked up about 32 learnings i have been able to uh, do only two implementations not all i think one of them i would always remember is from ms varun mayra he said go and talk to strangers and who knows that they hate you and then listen to them listen to them then you will become a empathetic listener i think that's one thing i picked up uh, pretty much in this last uh, 11 or uh, or series and the second one is mr basin talked about and he had uh, you know the first training which he underwent in 1986 he brought out those book and showed us what are the learnings he had and he still implements them as uh, you know in havels i think these are the two things i have learned which means for to be lifelong employability is the key this book and the second one a lot of uh, the young people may not like uh, it says and i subscribe to it cut down on the coffee breaks the chit chat breaks and now the social media breaks so uh, it it may be a very provocative thought so to my mind why we are struggling today as a country as a company as a person about risk 
of job is because we do not do the job what we are supposed to be doing this clearly tells me that when you work you work when you party you party but we cannot mix together so to my mind when i started working in 1984 the people used to work out of 8 hours about 3 hours or 4 hours now i think it's about an hour the rest of the time it goes on either a coffee machine or walking i'm not criticizing that's a trend even i may be part of that but fact of the life remains that when a promoter invests money then he has to get back the money by selling that materials in front of the customers i think that's something the moment we all start doing there is absolutely no risk and i think money will come automatically ask for more grab it which means um, in my entire uh, career so when somebody says do it so all my team members will say i will not do it and i'll go ahead and take it and uh, that might have been a tougher one because one has to spend a longer time in the office to do that work but trust me uh, in my entire career i've done finance sales six sigma customer service project management business head role now uh, collection trust me it's all because i learned it at some point of time because somebody said i will not do it i am the person who is going to do it so i think that's something if most of the people can do i think money will come automatically and um, god your integrity as a sacred thing i'm just quoting it from the book i think that's known to all of it but integrity is something which you can't just keep talking i think people would see it over a period of time whatever you say you do it about 99.999% which is the six sigma rate then your integrity that's the best thing i think that's something which is non compromisable um and the last one is concentrate on results because the number game is the key whatever you are wherever whichever industry because if the number is not there all the ppt can take a walk so your number has to speak for yourself and if it happens about 90 to 95% of the time then i think we will all get paid more and promoted faster thank you